Yo, what's good everyone? I'm back with another reaction video and as you can tell by the title, I am going to be checking out Noise by Ghostmane. I've been looking to check out this album for quite some time. Ever since my first reaction to Ghostman, I really enjoyed his music. He's a lot different from any artist that I've personally listened to, so I really, really like his sound. I really like all the songs that I've heard in my first two reactions and almost every single song off of his latest album, Anti-Icon. So I'm excited to go back into the past and see how his sound has developed over time, which is why I'm going to be checking out Noise, which came out in 2018, so it's been a few years. I have heard a few songs off of this project in my first few reactions so i'll definitely link those in the description below if you want to check those out i'm really excited to listen to this album and without further ado let's go okay this album has 12 songs 29 minutes i've heard three songs off of this project i believe so i'll be checking out nine songs all right first track intro period desolation Similar to Anti-Icon, this album has an intro that kind of sets the tone. In the beginning, it sounded like we were in the woods, some footsteps, sounds like it was raining, you could hear the bugs, the ambience was very high, and then all of a sudden this mean guitar riff starts playing and then got the humming in the background, similar to what the intro to Anti-Icon was like. But like I said, in Ghost Mane's albums, I've learned that the intro kind of sets the tone for the rest of the album. Track 2, Neil. I've already listened to it. If you want to see my reaction to the song, link in the description. Track 3, Flesh. As usual, Ghostmane's beat selections always catch me off guard. In the beginning, you could hear Ghostmane's metal influence, so it was sounding like a metal intro. Then all of a sudden, these 808s and drums came in, and he just started flowing as he usually does. Okay, Flesh. That was that was very interesting, very quick song, but like I said, you could definitely hear Ghostmane's metal influence in the beginning and the end, the drums, the guitars, it was sounding like an entire metal intro and outro. I liked it though, I really like how he kind of started off with, again, the metal intro, and then he went into rapping and then ended with the, the drums and the guitar. I liked it. Alright, track four and five, I've already heard both of those. Again, if you want to see my reaction to Bone Saw and Trench Coat, link in the description. Track six, The Singing Singularity.
before this dude starts going crazy. Do you hear all the instruments kind of building up in the background? Obviously you hear the 808 and the drum, but you can also hear this like kind of keyboard thing leading up. I really like that aspect about Ghostman, how he kind of shows off the production in his albums. He may have a minute intro, and only rap for 25 seconds, but I think he likes to showcase off the different unique styles and rhythms inside of the beat. And he is definitely doing this because in the beginning, when that drum came on, I was like, this is about to be wild. Okay, the singularity. Like I said earlier, I, I really do like how Ghostbane likes to show off his different beats and beat selections. While I was listening to the song, I was wondering why he didn't put this in the beginning or the end, because it really does sound like an interlude, but then I realized that this is song six and it's right in the middle of a 12 song album. So I think he's having an intro, and then he's gonna have a middle interlude kind of in between the first half and the second half. And I'm sure track 12 will be another song kind of similar to the first and the sixth song. But I could be wrong, track seven, ball gag. This sounded like some horror movie type stuff. Is this like Freddy, Jason? That's what it sounded like. Ghostman's a freak, bro. I was not expecting this in the beginning. I was, I was like, okay, this sounds like some Halloween type music. Perfect song to turn on in Halloween. And then he, he started doing the hook and going on to his first verse. And I, I don't think this is suitable for Halloween. Maybe it is. Maybe it is for some people. Uh, but definitely not in terms of a Halloween celebration. Uh, very very interesting i do like the beat like i said it's kind of sound like some freddie jason michael myers I, I i don't know but this this is very interesting i was not expecting this at all she's saying shoddy said she a freak Hey, I, I think this goes both sides, Ghost Man. I don't think she's afraid. I think you are too. If you're going with it, I, I, I'm just saying.
listening to a ghost main album is truly a roller coaster you start very slow most of the times and then maybe you might go into some aggressive music then it'll go back down to the chillness you think something's happening you think this is just a normal song then all of a sudden you hear that metal like instrumental all of a sudden a beat switch drums come on he starts screaming or rapping super fast uh, i really like that aspect because you could never expect the same thing with ghost main always something different always switching it up different beat switches different flows he's very versatile in terms of what he does with his vocals and his beats all right track eight androids dream of electric sheep i didn't know that See, last song we just got a metal influence, Ghostman was acting like a freak, now we got this like futuristic peaceful beat. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think this is gonna stay peaceful the entire time, I think there's about to be a crazy drop, a crazy guitar riff, drums, screaming, I'm waiting for it. I'm not going to be caught off guard this time, it's not gonna happen. I'm waiting for it. Uh oh, it's stopping. Here it comes. Like I said before, this is this definitely sounded like a very chill, futuristic, virtual type instrumental. It definitely, while I was listening to it, I was just thinking about space. It was almost like it's like you're 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 floating in outer space. If aliens came to Earth, I would definitely play them this song first because I think it would remind them of home. I, see what what has Ghost Man done to me? I'm I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. <laughs> Track nine, inside. I keep going back, but I'm not going back this time. I've been consuming myself in all of your lies. I think you're right. I think I'm losing my mind, but I would rather have to say that nothing inside. I've been so down on my life. This is very interesting. The exact opposite of the last track, but this instrumental and the way his vocals are on the track is kind of reminding me of some like early 2000s, like new metal, some like a Linkin Park or whatever it may be. But it, it just sounds like this song right here has a little bit of a, a new metal influence based on the way the guitars are sounding, the drums, the way his vocals are. I like it though. Your eyes met mine and then I Is he about to, he's about to spit on this? Okay. Y'all be fucking with just anybody, but I don't fuck with anybody. Yo, huh? Y'all be fucking with just anybody, huh? yeah, but I don't fuck with anybody. Wrote a shawty and she broke back, yeah. Now the shawty got a broke back, yeah. You tryna burn, I'm smoke that. I don't want no drugs if it ain't caps. Why y'all think I'm cool? I don't like that. Rest in peace, Gus, wanna bring you back. Yeah. But I don't fuck with anybody. Yeah. Y'all be fucking with just 
like I was saying earlier, this dude is so versatile. He goes from screaming or pretty aggressive to an entirely different beat switch in the same song and then goes to rapid. I really like that aspect how there's so many different switches and different flows and deliveries that he does in the matter of a single song. This dude is so versatile. All right, track 10, Getica. Bro, oh, this is sounding too peaceful again. This is about to be so aggressive. I can tell. See, I just can't relate. Try to pretend we're the same. We ain't the same. Try to pretend we're the fight. I said you were lying. I can't relate. I can't relate. I can't relate. I can't relate. You try to pretend we're the same. We ain't the same. You try to pretend we're the fight. I said you were lying. I can't relate. I don't know if I know. I'm like a troll of my destiny. I'm a destiny. What? I'm not gonna be a little bit of 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 a little bit I was just talking about his versatility dude went from a pretty lazy flow then all of a sudden he started going super fast and then all of a sudden he started singing this song is really really hard I think this may be my favorite song so far besides Neil and bone saw and trench coat I like all those three too but this one this one's fire if you guys have been watching my videos for quite some time you know that i love distorted 808s and when i heard those distorted 808s i knew this song was gonna be a banger i i really like when ghost main tries this type of sound i i, I just love uh, the distorted 808s the flow he uses the different deliveries and beat switches and flow patterns ghost main so far see i just can't relate try to pretend we're the same yeah Yeah, I, I really love that song. That song, I think it's my favorite so far that I've listened to today. All right, track 11, Black Blood. question for any producers out there how does one make these different type of noises like i'm really curious i don't know too much about the production aspect of music but some of these noises are insane obviously they're making them somehow they're crazy i'm, I'm really curious in how how producers are able to make different noises Dang, after that scream, he had to dip. He left the studio. He's gone. Oh, never mind. He got the guitar. Ooh, a transition. Okay. 
Track 12, My Heart of Glass. I said this earlier, but I do like the structure of this album, how there's an interlude intro, track one, an interlude slow song, track six, and another kind of outro slow song, track 12. This dude, I, I can't get over his versatility. He just went from letting out a roar almost at the end of Black Blood. Now he's going to harmonizing and making a beautiful melody, singing, playing the guitar at the same time. Ghostman, so underrated, so talented, so versatile. I was not expecting a beat switch in this. No way there's a beat switch. There's no way he can do it on the outro. There's about to be a crazy beat switch. Bro, what's about to happen? You're not gonna catch me off guard, Ghost Man. You're not. It's not gonna happen anymore. I'm expecting the unexpected now. Oh, now we're back in the woods, I think. The bugs, I hear them. Footsteps. We're back where we started. A car? On the side of the road, maybe? He's walking. walking again hmm I think after listening to that ghost man needs to direct a horror movie because I guarantee if he were to do that that'd be the scariest movie of all time some of these noises I've never heard before I guess that's why the album is titled noise but bro this one this was different this is really really different and that was my first reaction to ghost man's album noise like I just said, this was very, very different from Anti-Icon in my opinion. I do like how this album was a little bit more raw compared to Anti-Icon, but I think that just goes to prove how much Ghostman has improved from 2018 to 2020. I really, really did like this album though. I really did. I really, really like how he was able to show off the different beats and instrumentals. Again, there's a lot of different noises that I've never heard before. A lot of random noises, a lot of crazy noises. Track 8, Android's Dream of Electric Sheep. That song was just an instrumental, which again, I understand why he titled this album Noise, because it really was noise. But I think it was really, really cool hearing his versatility. But I I'm just really impressed to see how much Ghostman kind of leveled up from where he first started to where he is now. I'm really looking forward to whatever he has to drop next hopefully soon we need a new album ghost main so i think everyone's excited for that i'm excited for that whenever that comes out you guys know i'll react to that and uh if you guys want me to check out any other ghost main projects comment them down below i'll definitely check those out and yeah if you guys enjoyed please be sure to leave a like comment subscribe let me know what you want me to react to next in the comments below and yeah peace